This small fortified house in the Andes with a 5x5 building style was sent to me by Gavin. Big shout out and thank you to Gavin. And you can take a peek at the link to his Instagram in the description down below. Welcome builders, my name is Andy. And this is a cute little house, I hope you agree. Let's have a little look on the inside of it. It has got a little entrance down here. Steps you climb up and then you come in here. Plenty of room in here. You can come out here, loads of room as well. And you can probably hack your way through in here as well. And you can see there's plenty of doors, balconies, space, just gorgeous. And then up here, you would need to make a little ladder or something in here. And a much bigger space up here to live in. And it links through to this tower as well. And you could probably put a ladder here and get right up to here as well. So the interior isn't done, but the exterior is exquisite. I absolutely love it. So let's get started. 5x5 five five, small fortified house tutorial. So let's get it built. Um, just one last thing. It's dead brainy coral in there if you're wondering what that block is. Is. Anyway, I've got an identical island over here. Let's get this built. I've got the ingredients laid out for us right here. So let's do this. First of all, get into your hot bar. Some stone brick stairs, some bone block, some oak log, oak planks, oak slab, spruce stairs, polished andy azurecite, dead brainy coral block, and some infested. Why are they infested? I'm sure these are not meant to be infested. Why? Why are they? Just normal stone bricks. Don't want any of that infestations. Right, I've made a, laid out a little grid here. There's three blocks between each point on this grid. Can you see that? Three blocks. So follow that pattern, mark those squares in because that's what we're going to be building on. Okay, so to start with, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, like that. Boom, 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 like that. Same again here. So these are all going to be 14s. So we need three of these at the back and three of these at the front. There we go. And here, make sure they're all 14 blocks tall. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14. Great. And up we come. There we go. Excellent. Good, 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 good. Right. On the fifth block up, one, two, three, hmm. Do we want to do that? No, let's start on this side. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Alternate blocks all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And we need to do that um, all the way around, actually, on every single gap. So, yeah. Hmm. Need to do that all the way around and all the other gaps. Be right back when that is complete. And there we go. That's been done all the way around. Yeah, big shout out and thank you again to Gavin. By the way, we're going to fill these blocks in the gaps here with some dead brainy coral. If you can't get this coral, um, just use some normal cobblestone. Yeah, big shout out and thank you, thank you, thank you to Gavin for sending me these pictures on Instagram. So if you do follow me on Instagram, then you can DM me. You can send me pictures of your builds and I might feature them in a video. And if you're very lucky and you build well enough and build like Gavin does, because he builds brilliantly. He's been building since alpha. That you know, As soon as I looked at his build, I thought, yes, this is so good. You can see the quality oozing through. Uh, you can see the, um, the fact that he's been building a long time in Minecraft. Very, very crafty, very good way. Uh, and he's, you know, he's in, endorsed and incorporated. What's the word? He's just good. He's just good at the end. He's got a five by five method. And really, I'm learn I've learned a few tricks, tips and tricks from him as well. So big shout out and thank you to Gavin. Anyway, so these all get filled in with some dead brainy coral. And there we go. So yeah, I want to see what you're building in Minecraft. Send me some pictures on Instagram. And you never know, could be in a video. Keep on going, keep on going. We're going to hack in some windows and some doors shortly. But that's going to be whoo, looking like that. Not bad. Not bad at all. There we are. Okay, um, on the top, I'm going to put um, a, a line of stone bricks all the way around. Like that. Dun, 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 dun. So here's the front here. I've got the sun shining on the front of the build just like that. Okay, so uh, the next stage, I'm going to stick at the top of the build here, and I'm going to go, um, hmm, yeah, like this, I believe. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, 
like that. Can you see where they go? Start in the corner, miss a block, and I'm going to use four of them. So this is the front of the build here. On the side, I'm going to go one, two, three, much easier. And then the same on the back, one, two, three, four. We've got kind of a red brick roof going to be going on over there. Right. On the inside, you can start to mark out some floors. So come up, one, two, three, four, five. And it's the fifth one you want to bring across here to make a floor. So it's a little gap there of four. And I believe that's the right space to put this, like this. Do, 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 do. A little bit of a floor going on. And that links us to this sp sp spot here, which is going to be our front door. So we should have, let me just double check, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, we should be one, two, three, four, five levels away. So let's make the front door. So I'm going to come up here with some stone bricks like that. And then we can have a stair. Boom, boom, boom. And then come out. One, two, three. Stair. Come out again. One, two, one, two, one, two. Stair. And just bring this all the way down to the ground. Simple as that. One, two, three. These ones in here. We can make a little gap in here. You could fill this gap in, actually, if you don't want anything spawning in there. There you go, and then one, two, three. So there we go, that is our front door. Super simple, nice and easy. Okay, so that's that tower reasonably well done. Um, I'm gonna come round here like this now. Like that, there we go. Oops, missed a block. And on top of these, hmm, what am I gonna do? Oh yes, I'm gonna do some crenellation. So we're gonna do it like that hmm. should have started that that corner start at this corner and you should end up something like that pretty good this one should be one two and corner and this one should be one two three four something like that would be fine this bit here gets a big red brick roof on it as you can see over there hopefully you can see it gets a nice red brick roof on it so you can see that that bit there uh, you need to be a bit careful about. But anyway, we'll come back to that later on in the build. Right, let's crack on with this. Okay, over here, we're actually going to come up five as well. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, like that. And it's the same sort of pattern here. We're just going to go one, two, one, two, like that. Easy peasy. One, two, one, two two, one, two, like that, and then fill in the gaps again with some dead brainy coral or a block of your choice. Dead horny coral is actually quite a good one to use um, as well. I'm going to use dead brainy coral. Um, I have modified the design from Gavin's initial pictures that he sent me. I have changed um, a few of the elements, maybe 10 to 20% of it have actually changed just to maybe incorporate it more into my style and maybe to make some little upgrades and improvements as well. Um, and I actually uh, learned this build or built it for the first time on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Andy Zoda. And Gavin was watching along as well as I was building and he was able to help me. So do follow me on Twitch because I stream um, every day, just about apart from Tuesdays and Thursdays on YouTube at 4 and 10 p.m. And I'm also now uh, streaming my 5x5 builds on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Andy Zoda. So if you want to see me build live, then follow me on YouTube, hit that notification bell, subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on Twitch as well for some other live streams. Okay, hopefully you've seen exactly what I'm doing here. We can put a little doorway through here as well, um, like so. Um, we can also hack in some... Um, windows as well. In fact, this one here is going to be a door, believe it or not. So we've got a door here, and we've got a door here, and also a door through into this room here. So let's complete this room here. So we're going to come up one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. When I'm building the five by five system, I like to make the bottom layer five tall, and each subsequent sort of story only four blocks tall. That was a bit of a difference from Gavin's design, I think. So I'm making my little five by five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's a five by five system. The five by fives do overlap. Each little section, you could talk talk, talk about it being um, five by five. All right, some little um, 
upper slabs in there looking pretty cool and you could also hack away through into this section here and again this would be a good stage just to go one two three four it's the fourth one up this time and do another floor on the inside and if you do it like that it kind of marks out where all the windows are going to go right there obviously that's where the window should go in minecraft let's put this one across here as well window 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 and just up there would be our next our next level would be one two three i guess in there as well i so thought what you would probably do is just take this right to the top to make a nice uh upper level and don't forget to put some ladders or some stairs in i will let you do that uh on your own do you know what i don't think we need this anymore let's get rid of this i think this is much better just to get rid of all that and we could put that there yeah let's just get rid of all that that's that's a much better design much more space up here hopefully that wasn't too difficult to follow Okay, how are we doing on the outside? So this first level here, I'm going to fill this in actually with bone bone block. Like that. Is that going to be a door? Hmm. I don't think that is actually a door. I think that's going to be a window. This one here is going to be a door. And this one's going to be a window. If you haven't got bone block, then a white wool would do or white concrete. Things like that. Anything white, basically. I think it looks like kind of medieval wattle and daub. But what about I like about this five by five system is it still looks kind of moja. Whoa, what happened there? It still looks kind of mojangy and kind of basic. Um, you're retaining the look and the feel of Minecraft, and I think that's that's kind of important as well. Let's uh, stick some glass in these windows while we are having fun. I'm gonna stick some glass in all the way around. Should we put some doors in as well? We could put some doors in as well. While we're here, let's put in our first couple of doors. I'm going to have a door there and there. And of course, you could set those doors back if you wanted for a bit more detail. Don't forget your windows at the top level here. Okay, so the build is looking quite basic, quite plain. And that's the beauty of the system. It does look basic and plain, but you've got to enhance it. You've got to make it look a lot, lot better on your own. Okay, um, oak is woodus logus. We're going to come up here. One, two, three, four, five, like that. Same down here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is where the blue marks came in handy. And we're going to come across here like that, just to make another little balcony here for the front of the build. One, two, three. One, two, three. If you do build it, guys, please send me pictures. I'd love to see it when you guys take on my build. Now for some reason I've dropped my oak slabs, so we're going to put these oak slabs in here. This is our next stage, like this. Cool. Alright, um, I'm actually going to do this here. I'm going to go one, oh, <clears throat> one, two, three, four. And I'm going to grab some oak fences at this point. Spruce fences. <laughs> I knew that. Spruce fences along here. Great. A uh, nice bit of detail to add is if you go like this with your upside down spruce stairs and it makes it look like the whole thing is just being held up. You could put some in here as well if you want for the extra smidgen of detail. There we go. Okay, the place is looking wonderful. That is the front. Let's turn our attention round to the back of this build and do a little bit of work round here. So again, I'm going to grab some oak logs one two three four five on all of these one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five and then seal the deal across here making some more little five by five balcony sections looking pretty beautiful right there um bring this out by two two and two and what we can actually do is um Put another balcony in here like that okay so let's fill all this in and that kind of leads us to our problem we need another door on the back here don't we? we need another door so this door could go 
kind of uh, anywhere, I guess. Um, yeah, let's have a door here. I have a door opposite this one, and I'm going to indent this one as well, just for a bit of variety. There we go. Pretty smart, pretty smart. Um, at the back of this build, what we can also do is just add these on as well, uh, like so. That looks that looks fine to me. I'm just checking Gavin's pictures kind of off camera here. Yeah, that looks fine. Looks fine to me. Um, here we're going to come up by two. And at the back here we're going to come up another two to make them three tall. So those are one, two, three sticking out. Then we can go crazy with our spruce fences. Run them around here. Like that. So I'm going to get all the basic elements of this build done, and then I'm going to spend time in the video putting all the details in. Okay, here's where uh, Gavin really goes out on his own here. This is something I, I don't normally do. But come along here with, stick these out by two. Every corner, stick it out by two, <clears throat> like that. And our next level is actually coming up one, two, three, four, like that. One, two, three, four. And it makes, a, believe it or not, a seven by seven shape pretty cool huh i'll hold the camera nice and still so you can kind of see exactly where i've done that hopefully that is nice and clear one two three four one two three four one two three four and it's made another amazing addition to the build doesn't that look smart underneath here you can do a bit of supportive work like this Cool, and then of course you can complete this um, like this. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. Here we go, one, two, three, one, two, three. But the middle one is going to be one, two, three, four, five, and there we go. We're going to have ourselves a bit of an attic up there. A lot of fun. Okay. Um, What's next, what's next, what's next? All ah, right, I'm gonna have, I think, is this right? Yes, we're gonna have this log come across here like this. Boom, boom, boom. And this just provides a bit of support. Oh, a little touch of lag there. I do apologize for that. I'm filming on my server. Maybe someone was doing some, some world edit. One, two, three, there we go. Okay, let's have some oak planks in these gaps here. And these are all gonna be windowed gaps. Go, little windowed gaps, loving that. And I like building like this, where you have bone block at the lower levels, and then kind of lighter materials, wooden materials, further up the build, like that. Anyway, let's concentrate on getting this basic structure done. Once you've filled all these in, you can add some glass as well. Okay, sorry about the break in the video there, somebody was doing some world edit. <laughs> I've asked everyone to stop doing some world edit right now, so no more laggy jumps in the video. Great, so this is really, really good progress, I think. Now, up here, we're going to do some more sticky out bits as, as well, which add a real amount of detail and character to this build as well. I love these little bits just there. Actually, we can provide some little cool uprights like this. A little bit of detail going on at this stage as well, which is fine. So a little spruce fences in those teeny tiny gaps um, just there. Yeah, this is looking not too bad right now. Um, hmm, what is next? Okay, I'm going to grab some cobblestone because Gavin's made this really cool little um, wood store back here. So bring out four blocks of cobblestone, make them too high, and then bring them round here level with the front of the build. So it's one, two, three, four, like that. On top of this, I'm going to add in um, a cobblestone wall here and here. And it's making a little wood shed here, a little teeny tiny wood shed. So we're going to go one, two, like that, something maybe like that, two, three, boop, 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 little log store, somewhere where you would store all your logs. I love that. It looks so cool the way, the way he's done that. Right. Um, oak slabs are going to go here like that. So that's pretty easy so far. Um, then we're going to come here like this. Okay. And then here. 
and oops not in there we're gonna go like that okay following so far hopefully that's not too bad this might not be exactly gavin's design but it's it's mine <laughs> and there we go. oh no don't do that there we go ah now this is something that gavin likes to do he likes to put kind of higgledy pickledy blocks i would call them in places where it just looks a bit uneven and I like that it looks kind of rough and ready it's not something I do very much so now it's definitely time to work on the roof uh, let's grab some ingredients for the roof so we're gonna grab uh, brick slabs bricks brick stairs cobblestone stairs cobblestone wall birch fence red wool cobblestone and cobweb okay here we go with the roof so I'm gonna put a little dummy block there to start with and that helps me start my roof with brick stairs coming along uh, like that that's that's far enough that's plenty far enough in fact I need to come one more block like that there we go let me remove my little dummy block in there and that is our roof so same on the other side let me place a little dummy block just there and we can start the roof with some brick stairs hopefully you can see exactly where that comes along like that. Once you followed one tutorial like this, I'm sure you'll be able to very, very easily come up with your own designs in Minecraft. Um, okay, I'm actually going to, hmm, yeah, with this block here, I'm actually going to do that so that you've got one, two, three overlapping. Okay, I'm just going to do it like that. Right, let's bring this brick stair along here and then we're going to go upside down, upside down, and just keep on going with this gable end here of our roof. Upside down, upside down, correct the way, upside down, upside down, correct, correct. Should look like that to start with. I can put that there, and I can come round and put that there for an extra bit of twiddly detail. Okay, great. Um, on the inside here, I can just bring that block up and that block up and that helps to seal the deal a little bit later on. Okay, so we need to keep on going up here with our levels. Um, remember that one's going to be there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the ninth one should be there, hopefully. Okay, bring this roof across. We're going to be fitting a chimney in here very soon indeed. Bring this across here. I'm only going to build the top of the chimney. It'll be down to you to really to integrate the chimney, bring it right down into the middle of your build. Maybe a fire, maybe a fire in the basement or something like that. That doesn't sound safe, does it? There's a fire in the basement. No, 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 it's meant to be there. There we go. Cool. Um, oh, this bit can come across. One, two, like that. There we go. So you should see, leave a little gap in there where we can actually put our chimney like that so you can see that's where your chimney would be and you could bring that down into your build couldn't you You could bring it down somehow the chimney is going to be making a fire kind of right there or something okay so that's up to you so bring this round that's two layers of these eight blocks maybe let's go for three how many is he done I'm just checking my reference pictures yeah something like that is is fine and then I'm going to go for actually a block I don't have which is going to be cobblestone stairs. Let me grab some cobblestone stairs and just put this right here. Bring the chimney up another couple of blocks, maybe one, two, three, something like that would be fine. And I'm gonna go for cobblestone wall, cobblestone slab on top, and then some cobwebs to represent the smoke coming off. And I like to make a little gap in my smoke. There, like that. There we go. Yeah, that looks fine. I think that looks actually not too bad at all. Right here, we can do something very cunning and do that. <laughs> One of the most amazing parts of that build is how this kind of just blends nicely into the brick. I love that design. Absolutely love that design. Okay. Um, of course, I think this is sticking out a bit too much now. So let's maybe just do that. Yeah, that's much, much better. Hmm. I wonder if you do that. No, too much, too much. There we go. That is fine. That looks good now. There we go. Happy with that. 
might not be exactly Gavin's design. You can play about with this yourself. Um, so I'm going to do this and this. What this does is just add a touch of detail to your build as well. Um, one of the ingredients I meant to not drop was slabbed bricks, brick slabs, because these can, these can just need to be here to finish off your build. Cool. I actually feel rusty at doing tutorials. I haven't done an actual proper tutorial for ages. I've been doing lots of time lapses on my channel. So there we go. These little things are quite good to play about with. If you turn a stair, it makes it look like you've got a hole in your roof. <laughs> I like that. I like that detail. And of course, you can do that as well, just to make it look like it's sticking out and a bit uneven. Okay, great. That's the roof done. That's the wood store, the balcony, the balcony at the back. Uh, we've got a couple of roofs to do um and then we're good to go so let's get those roofs to do <laughs> roofs done now so let's grab some ingredients and let's grab some cobblestone wall and some oak slabs and get these little roofs done so the first one goes on the front here hmm i'm gonna go one two three one two three one two three one two three, one, two, three like that that's looking pretty smart and then we're going to add in our little oak slabs sticking out like that. That's pretty pretty cool, I think. And then we'll bring them out again, like that. And that's pretty much it. There's your roof. You can add that on. And that's it. A little roof going above that door. You can put a window there. You could even put a door there if you wish. Um, and again, if you want, you can make it look a little bit uneven. Something Something like that would make it look pretty uneven and kind of almost messy yeah i like that okay um round to the back side here okay we need to put a roof on here what i'm going to do is come in here with a little slab there so that sticks up one two three and then you're on a, a half one there bring it out another one bring it out another one just to make it a bit bigger right here we can go up again like that. I'm not even going to worry about that one. It looks like an extra one that's just happened kind of automatically. This can come across. <coughs> and here, I'm going to get rid of that block and just bring this across. Like that. I'm going to get rid of that one and just bring that down there like that. So you're going up by... Can I just... It's, it's it's upper slabs and then lower slabs. I don't know if that makes sense. It's upper and lower slabs all the way up, all the way up until you get right up to the top here. And that's you complete. There we go. Looking mighty fine at the back there. Woohoo, loving that. Uh, here, again, um, I'm going to start on top here. So slightly different one this time. Starting on top, sticking it out a bit more. And then putting another level on top, and then another level like that. It kind of integrates those together. Don't worry too much about these. If this is too fast to follow, just make something up. Honestly, these roofs are the least of your problems. There we go. Oops, not you. It needs to be you. Oh, uh, we'll have a little door here. I think that looks quite smart, having a little door here. And I'm loving these spruce doors these days. So that can go in there. Cool. So that's that side of the done. That roof. Yeah, it's all down to some detail now. It's all down to detail. So let's get rid of some of these blocks here. And really have some fun putting on some detail. So here's our detailing, or some of our detailing ingredients. We've got some stone buttons. Now the stone buttons are going to go on the ends of all these. How cool is that? Looking like uh, pins that are holding everything together. Oh, by the way, here you can just simply bring these up, bring these up like that, and maybe a little spruce fence would go well there, kind of an attic look to it. What were we doing? We were doing stone buttons. There we are. Very smart indeed. Hmm. Something we could do down here while we're at it is put some more of these on. These can go all the way around like that. So this is your next job. <laughs> I 
there's a lot of these to do. By the way, if you want a full ingredient list and lots of pictures of this build, then I'll be adding a full ingredient list of all the things in this build and loads of pictures to help you, and I'll be putting it onto my Patreon. So check out patreon.com forward slash Andy is Yoda, and I'm doing lots of building guides for all my tutorials. And what you can do is get it for just $1. You can access newsletters, all my downloads of my 5x5 builds, and you can get... Um, yeah, the building guides for my tutorials. Okay, this place is looking good. This has probably been annoying you for a while. I'm sorry about that. My bad. <laughs> right, let's have a look at some other ingredients that we can add some detail in with. So this is some lime wool and some light blue wool. Colors of your choice, really. Grab some spruce fences and some spruce trapdoors. Now these spruce trapdoors are going to go here, here, and here. Um, but that's it. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is put a temporary row of blue there and then alternate blue. Is it blue? What is this? This is light blue wool. Yeah. And then green. Get rid of my temporary layer. <clears throat> Keep my temporary layer because I haven't used it yet. <laughs> um, and just bring these out. There, 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 and there. And then green, 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 green. There we are. Okay, like a little awning, a little bit of sunshade there, a little bit of a, maybe a shop front. I think it looks very smart. Put that in there, that there, that there, and this can come down like that. If you didn't see that, we'll do it again on the other side. We can go there, 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 and there, or there. <laughs> it's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, what, if, what would be next? What would be our next detailing? Let's see what else we've got. Oh, yes, we've got these. These are beautiful. These are jungle trapdoors so we can add some jungle trapdoors in now i'm going to come around to this side here and it looks like little cute what would you call them window frames window trapdoors window shut shutters that's it that's the word you were looking for andy shutters cute little shutters i love these jungle trapdoors there we go cool Hmm, the detail is mounting up. It really is. Uh, another beautiful detail I like to put on is this dark oak fence gate here. And it can go one, two, three in here. One, two, three. Same up here. One, two, three. It really adds a huge amount to the build, putting that in. Don't forget this little detail. I love it. You can go in there, I guess. In here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, like that. There we go. Is there anything else to do? Oh, yeah, I've got a really cool thing we can do. We can put on a, fl a flower box. So grab yourself some podzol, uh, some nice flowers. Did I, gr I drop my podzol, didn't I? Some podzol, some flowers. And there we go. We're good to go. So podzol <clears throat> here and here. And I can go for jungle trapdoor like this all the way around. Boom, boom, and then under here as well, and then on the front, and you've got yourself a beautiful little flower box, and you can actually put that all the way around as well. I've only put it on the front, but you could add that all the way around. Okay, so is that it? Is that all we have to do? Is the rest of it just flowers and bushes and details? I think it is. I'm going to leave this tutorial here, I think. We'll go back to the other place and we'll have a look at some of the, the details that we've managed to put into this place. One, two, three five six seven we can add a flag before we go let's go for a green flag this time one one two and then one try and make your flag go in the same direction as your smoke as well and there we are some trees bushes and paths i think is the only things we need to add to this place because um this is looking i would say pretty much finished well let's go and have a look at gavin's effort that he built and we'll see if we've missed anything out. But I think that is us. I think that is us done. Okay, so you've got to add trees. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you how to do trees. Trees, bit of a wall you could add as well. Here's a beautiful little campfire going on here. You could light that up in there. Little path blocks, bushes going up, really add some awesome detail as well. Is there anything else? Table and chairs could be added. Let's have a look around the back. 
Oh, doing that is quite cool. Having some windows as if it's been completely shut up as well. Oh, I've added these on as well. I don't think I did that across there. Um, yeah, we're pretty much done. Another little bit of an awning across here as well with carpet. That's easily done. You could add that. Um, and at the back here, he's put like a, a wine or a beer barrel there and another little door into what would be your kind of a store or your basement underneath. Well, that will do for today's tutorial. Um, just last double checking, I, I haven't missed anything out. No, we're good to go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you do like this, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Check out Gavin's Instagram link in the description, and I will see you next time. And as I said, if you would like a builder's guide, a count of all the materials, and some pictures, then just hit me up on patreon.com forward slash Andy Zoda, and it's $1, and you get building guides and newsletters and downloads of all my 13 by 13, sorry, all my 5 by 5 builds, including my 13 upgrades series. Take care for now. Ciao. Ciao. I'm in the blocks. Be with you.